So okay. number 10 is a person with a relatively short games career, but a very impressive games career. In four years, she competed four out of five years at the games, um, and her fi finish at the games were fifth, fifth, second, and third. And that's an average of 3.75 placing out of four years at the games. She did win four events over those four years. She's maybe lesser known now um, in terms of an competitive athlete and more known for some of the stuff she's done in the medical and health community and setting out on her own with that podcast that she has. Um, her career was kind of cut short by an injury, uh, ruptured her Achilles during regionals in, I think, 2015. And um, she kind of famously did that handstand walk with the boot on to try to compete as much of the weekend as she could. So people may remember that. But when I'm just looking at her competitive history, Four times to the games, four times in the top five. I I had to have her on the tenth spot at least for now. I mean, obviously there's still people that can come up in the sport and have great long careers and bump her out, but for now she still deserves this honor. That picture is incredible, right. and uh, the one part of her body that I just cannot stop staring at is, are those wristbands. <laughs> I am a I can't believe I don't have my wristbands on today, but that is an incredible fic picture. Um, even the CrossFit logo uh, in yellow with the yellow wristbands and the yellow top. All she needs is like maybe like a sunflower, a little dandelion in her ear, or something yellow like in her hair, and that thing would be perfect. E even even the weights behind her, the yellow and green. I, 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 it's a great picture. I do not. I would have never thought she made the top ten. Well, that being said, I mean it's uh, th that was one that was kind of surprising. I wasn't too familiar with her her career but when i just stacked it up against the other ones i mean there's some girls who maybe later on we'll look at some of the girls that just barely missed um that you could i could you know people could make arguments for but man four times the games four times in the top five two times on the podium four career event wins it's pretty impressive in a small time do time domain and and for now i think that it's it's okay still to have her here yeah, and she and she's a doctor can we talk about that for a second yeah she's we used to call julia the the human weapon yeah, she was basically – she was in residency or going to school or doing whatever you do, medical school, whatever you do to become a doctor. She was doing that while training and competing. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Yeah, ne next level. Um, what was her first year, Brian, showing up at the CrossFit Games? I think, it was, I think she competed 2011, 12, 13 – or 10, 11, 12, and 14, I think. Okay. So legitimate years. Yeah, she was uh, yeah, 10 and 11. She was fifth, second in 2012 to Annie, and third in 2014 behind Camille and Annie. And it'll be very interesting to see who number 11 is when we get to the after we get to number one to see if number 11 is Jamie Hobart. Who? <laughs> ja you don't know the athlete, Jamie Hobart? Okay. This joke has maybe another half mile on it, and then I think it's totally <laughs> dead. But I'm glad you're drawing so much pleasure out of it. Absolutely. That's why you're on the show, for pleasure. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, 10, 10 was – it was a little tough. We'll, we can talk about 11 and 12 later on, and I felt like it's uh, – if anyone wanted to make an argument for those two, I could see it, but I'm going to go with Can Julie we see there. 11 real quick? Sure. Uh, no, let's wait no? till the end, Hobart. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Let's wait. Let's wait. And, and by the way, someone just wrote in the comments, I thought Hobart was buying a mic. Nick, I thought Hobart was buying a mic too. I've only sent it, him the link at least two times. It's supposed to be here today. We just did this podcast too early, but whatever. You're right, Nick. Sorry. If I get invited back next time, I might have a mic. You will always be invited.